Welcome back Skidmore Family Farm friends. Today we're headed to the property. I finished up work early on Friday today. So I'm going to try and get the middle row of concrete columns poured. And as you can see, the leaves are changing, falling, not getting a whole lot of color change this year. I think because of the uh, lack of rain. I know that plays a little bit of a part in the color change of the leaves, but We're getting some yellows and a little bit of orange We got some rain the other day a little bit, but I'm not sure how far behind Kentucky is or this area of Kentucky is on the rain as far as number of inches But my guess is Come winter time we're either gonna have a lot of rain or a lot of rain and snow both one of the two but all the grass and stuff is still green so that's a plus I think it got down to 35 here last night uh oh lost the sono tube <laughs> had them sitting on the roof I got them out of the barn at Ryan's house and I just threw them on the roof because the because the van's full of stuff hopefully they stay on there I feel like getting back out again it's been a long week lots of work at the hospital and me and Ryan went and got the concrete last night. He had some extra time, so we went up there in his truck and got the sill plate, uh, treated lumber that the rim joist and floor joist will sit on, and the, the rest of the concrete that I'll need. Hear a little bit of mud there but as you can see where the blue tarp is that's the concrete and uh, before I get started I'll take you up I did a little bit of clearing uh, over the last couple weeks up past the old homestead I'll show you the the trail that goes up past that we've got it to where I can almost go up to the next ooh, it's a little softer. go up to the next ledge up from the bottom I believe there's where the cemetery was back that way there is a trail that goes uh, long ways across the mountains and I think that was either used in the timbering or when they mine the coal out here but it goes down from Ryan's and I think it goes up and follows it all the way around and goes up to the neighbor's property over there but it's like I don't know 100 feet or so an elevation change but we'll see that real quick oh. lost another tube back there but as you can see, none of them fell over. We did have some drop and a little bit of leaning on the concrete, but we can we can adjust those once we start uh, leveling out for the framing and all that. We'll have to shim stuff up and move stuff around. Uh, the tubes, the forms didn't uh, hold up as well as I would have thought, but they'll be all right there's definitely solid so it'll just be a matter of shimming around uh, the concrete to get everything leveled up and how we want it which is fine it's not a big deal to me some people would freak out but we'll just take uh, treated lumber and if it's an inch or whatever off I bought some five and a quarter deck boards to go underneath the two by eight 
or two by sixes if we need to wherever we need to to shim i know that one far corner on the right over there where you can see the wooden stakes it sits probably two inches below because the tube started to blow out and it started leaning and stuff but instead of messing with it i just let it do what it needed to do and um, i was afraid if i pushed on it or started trying to adjust it uh, while the concrete was still wet that it would just blow out completely and all the concrete would drop out and i didn't want that so i'll just deal with it when it comes time to framing but like i said let's head up to the old uh, homestead site and we'll go up and i can show you where i cleared cleared the trail out some it was uh, all weeded up and all that but we're trying to get a drive that'll go up to that ledge like i said and then we'll probably get some cabins up there at some point and uh, that'll be our first step to gaining access to the other trails. There's trails up here. They're just all overgrown and uh, It's just a matter of finding them and and seeing if we can, if they're usable still for access on our property to the top of the mountainside we always have the route of going through Ryan's property like I showed you on the past videos but it'd be nice to have our own route up there that way we're not constantly having to go through their property or if we put cabins up there uh, wouldn't have to have strangers going to the cabins going through somebody else's property this was already cleared before it's past the homestead site that I had to clear debris uh, from when I cleared the trees around the homestead and uh, just old trees that had fallen over time and hopefully I don't bottom out here yep might not be able to get up there. It's a little muddy. It's wanting to slide into the ruts and that puts us high centered. I'll try this. Sorry folks, this will have to be a two part video. <laughs> um, Part one, I accidentally hit the stop button while I was recording, but we're just past where it got high centered and I realized that it, the video had stopped recording. So I'll go up here and show you what I mean about the, about the creek crossing and all that. Um, this is where if you go to the high side of the waterfall, this is where we access it at. You can go like downstream and that's where the waterfall is right here. I'll hop out and show you that as soon as I back up and turn around and then that where that dark brown area is right up there. That's the path. Once I take those saplings out and we Put a little drainage uh, culvert right up here um, or a little bridge or something I don't know what we'll do but that will allow the water to go through and we can access that hill up there and once we get the excavators and all that stuff we can take down some of the hill if we need to or however we need to do that to uh, make it accessible give you a quick view before we shut this off um, like I said you can see this was all grown up 
and I've just been driving over it and cutting it as I come up here and get a little bit of time when I haven't been working on the cabin but you can see that's the creek the water runs off the mountainside comes down there comes through here you can see the rocks and then goes down through there and then a couple hundred feet that way is where the waterfall was that we showed in an earlier video but I was saying we're gonna put a little crossing here I don't know if we'll pile rocks up or I'll just I might be able to just grade it out and then we can uh, fix it as needed or just pile rocks up like I said and that will allow us to come across here and go up this hill but you can see there's really large rocks um, all throughout this creek bed And when we first looked at the property and bought it, this had running water through it the whole time. It was just that July and August and uh, early September. And even up to now, we just uh, really behind on rain. And that's part of the reason why I want to dam this up down by the waterfall is so I'll have, I can store the water for uh, the animals or watering uh, gardens and stuff like that plus we can have fish in it and all the stuff that goes along with having a pond it will also attract more wildlife if there's consistent water uh, year round the deer and all the other animals will also uh, come to that which will help us out because the more wildlife we have that's uh, deer is food to us so I mean, I like having them around anyhow. I'm not gonna try and just slaughter them all, but um, providing water for the animals uh, sustains life. Water, water, everything, wa yeah, everything revolves around water pretty much and food. So if we can provide that, we will have more animals, which, is a plus the goal is to be as self-sustaining as possible so deer being food for us uh, when it's in season um, provides red meat uh, with being landowners we have I'm not sure I still haven't checked into the DNR rules but we have um, rights to more deer than the average hunter because when you get your permit depending on the county you're allowed so many does or bucks or whatever you're hunting and that's based on county population of deer and stuff but as a landowner here and there's so many deer i'm guessing we probably um with the landowner permit can get five deer a piece or anybody that's hunting that lives on the land with it being our property, Ashley could get five, I could get five, or I'm not sure of the numbers, but something along those lines, four or five, which would be a whole year's pretty much of red meat that we can substitute that for steak uh, being from a cow, even though we're going to raise some cattle, but um, that just means we can sell more of the uh, beef for profit and or donate we plan on donating a lot of the stuff too um, to the community through the church and uh, just as needed to our neighbors that type of thing our neighbors are all helping us out a lot so um, that can be a form of repayment just like last night Ryan taking us to the or taking me to Lowe's to get the concrete because he has the heavy duty big truck. Um, it's uh, things would wouldn't be as far along as they are without their help. I mean, he got the first load of concrete with me and and the second load, so those are all things. And then we got to get a telephone pole to run the power wires too, so we'll need his trailer. 
probably in the following week or so. I'm going to get the materials this weekend for the electrical and then get the pole sometime next week or whatever, whenever I make it back down and he has time. But just wanted to give an update. This is the beginning trail to access the mountainside, I'm guessing. Um, once we get up to that ledge, it goes up, like I said, probably 200 feet from where the Jeep is. And then it wraps around and goes that way. And I believe it goes back this way, but I'm not sure how far before it goes up again. And it may not be something that we use for full access to the mountain, but if we have that access to that upper ledge, we can put a cabin or two or three or whatever up there. Um, that's one of the ways we plan to supplement our income is with having rental cabins and for the family and friends, that type of thing. But that's going to wrap up our video for today. Thanks for watching Skidmore Family Farm. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up to like our videos and hit the notification bell to get all our notifications and our latest videos. Thanks and have a great day.